As you may have seen already, AMC raised over $325 million, issuing 40 million shares, aka diluting the stock by 40 million shares. We have a lot of stuff to go over in today's video. All I ask you guys to do in return is hit the like button. It's free. It helps me out. And make sure to watch until the end of the video so you don't have to watch another update video here on YouTube. Without further ado, turn post notifications on, hit that subscribe button so you guys can see my videos on the daily. Let's get into it. So if you go take a look at the top news before we get into really what's happening, AMC stock is a buy now thanks to improved business fundamentals. AMC stock jumps on cash infusion from equity raise. You can see that most of the articles that are being put out right now are technically bullish on AMC and usually when a company dilutes, it's not usually the most bullish thing to see. Well, let's jump into it. Adam Aaron tweeted, I am delighted to share this extremely important news with all of you. AMC has successfully raised 325 million of new equity capital through the issuance of 40 million shares via our at the market equity raise, which started September 6th and which now has been completed. The material increase in our cash position means that any talk of immediate and imminent financial collapse right now by AMC is moot. In other words, bankruptcy is off the table, Adam Aaron said. This is a huge thing to see, digging into his tweet. He follows up by saying, we still have many challenges, including Hollywood must resolve the current actors and writers strike, but regardless, AMC is now a much stronger company given our increased level of cash. Like you, the coming together of AMC common and preferred stock, along with the reverse stock split in August, decreased both my number of owned and granted, but unvested AMC shares slash units. So I currently have an economic interest in more than 800 thousand AMC shares now rather than the more than 8 million AMC shares and ape units previously. In turn, that means I personally experienced the great pain felt by all AMC shareholders at the recent decline in our stock price. He ends this tweet off by saying, looking though to our clearly having extended AMC's viability, it is comforting to know that AMC has strengthened our company by so significantly increasing our cash on hand. Now, there are a couple things to note here. Adam Aaron holding over 800,000 AMC shares. The fact that he hasn't bought lately is questionable, but he also says in the tweet, our company, not his company, and our cash cash in hand, not his cash in hand, which is a solid thing to see, means he is teamed up with the shareholders. He's trying to let you guys know we raise cash, bankruptcies off the table. I'm sad about the decline as well as you guys, but the money that we have raised, this is where we stand. Now, this is a lot more important than we think. According to Stock Turf, it seems that AMC has managed to fulfill its debt covenants, which previously restricted them from issuing dividends by using the $325 million in cash obtained through their recent issuance of $40 million shares. Now, this is being talked about a lot, and it's very very important. Pay close attention. AMC just sold 40 million shares at an average price of $8.14 a share. And remember the headline from January of 2021. AMC shares explode after announcing a $100 million cash inflow. You can see dated January 20th, 2021. What happened January 20th of 2021? This is... January 20th of 2021, this small little scale up from the very, very bottom is where AMC came to. And you can see at the bottom of the chart, January 20th, 2021, right here, six days later, seven days later, buy button was taken away, reached the peak, right? But that's not all. Let's continue going. And don't forget, at the same time, AMC warned it may run out of cash in January of 2021. And then this happened and the share price soared. So it's very, very similar to what we're seeing now. But this is even more important. It looks as if the 2026 bond debt was wiped out, which means AMC could go after a dividend. And also the bonds were what was most likely holding AMC back. You can see under the SEC Gov link right here, it talks about paying dividends and other distributions. And then right here, it talks about the first lien secure notes due 2026, yada, yada, yada. Very, very bullish news going forward. And the too long didn't read is that in January and June of 2021, it took a couple weeks from share issuance for the stock prices to run thousands of percentages. I won't be surprised if that happens again. Touching on the chart really quick, AMC was up peaked 26% off of the dilution news, okay, which is very odd because stocks usually tank upon dilution, but AMC is different, and we talked about that several times in the past. Now, let me remove this so you can see. I wanted to touch on the on-balance volume. Seems as if the on-balance volume did 
decrease on the sell-off for the first time. Now, of course, this could be manipulated, the on-balance volume. It also could be adjusted from a conversion and reverse split, but let's assume neither are the case, right? The on-balance volume is now sitting back where it was right here, and this is exactly where the on-balance volume would actually be sitting. So the share price is actually anywhere from $79 to $50, okay? So that $30 dollar range right here and you can see this parallel channel this descending channel lines up perfectly with the, where AMC is trading at where it fought support and resistance and where it also bounced at just now off of the dilution news which is extremely important this could have been the bottom for AMC I would watch for a rejection at ten dollars and ninety cents if we want to continue to sell off there's also multiple gap fills to the upside that we don't even have to cover I think when AMC does move it's going to either do its thing or we are going to be waiting a couple years for this thing to squeeze. Now, there are going to be questions coming up why they sold at the 68% discount from a month ago or the 89% discount year over year, or why did Adam Aaron dilute at record lows when there's no imminent liquidity crisis? You're also gonna see questions why with so much positive news, why with the Swift deal, why not just wait to dilute on AMC? and that all lies in the hands of Adam Aaron, but let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Moving on, AMC has been in the gamma squeeze for just about a year now, and the price has suffered greatly due to it. Today, after all this time, AMC has now exited its gamma squeeze. That is right, gamma can squeeze to the upside or the downside, and AMC has finally just exited its downside gamma squeeze, which is important to note, especially seeing AMC could have just hit the bottom in the chart. Quick touch on Ortex numbers, 16.32% short interest, utilization at 83%, both of those rising, cost of our average still sitting right around 5%, and the max at 8%. GameStop looking beautiful. Uh, the on-balance volume has just steadily increase over time it looks very very solid nobody let go of gamestop shares i still hold my gamestop shares gamestop is fighting resistance on this wedge right here it's looking very very similar to the s p 500 however the spy did just break out and i think gamestop may follow especially if amc continues to move just to disclose i do still hold my gamestop calls now before we get into the spy and speaking of my GameStop calls, if you want to know my trades as soon as I take them, pop in the Discord. The link is right under the video in the top of the description and pinned in the top of comments. It's $1.99. Get in before the price goes up. We have options trading alerts in there. We talk stocks all day long. And ultimately, it's the best vibes. Also, guys, if you want up to 16 free stocks, each valued up to a couple grand per stock, a guaranteed free Tesla or Google stock, and $50 cash, use my link. Sign up for Moomoo Moo and make it a positive even a dollar to start earning benefits from there. Now, China just cut its key interest rate by 0.25% amid economic slowdown. And JP Morgan says the Fed is done hiking interest rates and will be pausing its interest rates next week. What do you guys think about that? What are your thoughts on the interest rate hikes next week? And before we jump into the SPY, huge news. FTX receives court approval to liquidate $3.4 billion in crypto assets worth of Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, WBTC, W. WETH, USDT, XRP, STG, APT, and BIT. And finally, the SPY is fighting this channel. If you look at it from a micro perspective, it broke out of a little bit of a wedge here and came in based off of the support that we had drawn up at 449. Watch that level of support. Watch for a break over 45150 or 452. So the SPY can come up to 45550. Or if we break back lower, watch 44285. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to share the video everywhere to all the apes like you guys. Hit the like button on your way out. Drop a comment down below. Post notifications on. I love you all. Lottery socks out.